Welcome to this instructional video for CalRecycle's Recycling and Disposal Reporting System. In this video, we will go through the process of submitting a quarterly report for a contract hauler. From the organization page, select the contract hauler that we'll be reporting. Then click Quarterly Reports on the left navigation pane. On this page, you can create a new quarterly report and view previous or in-progress reports. We are going to create a new quarterly report for quarter 3, 2019. Click Add Report. Select your reporting activity and the appropriate reporting period. If you do not meet the minimum tonnage threshold to report for a given quarter, you will use this drop-down list to state your reporting exemption. For this example, choose I am required to report this quarter and click Save. We are now brought to the quarterly report. Notice the various tabs at the top. As a best practice, we will move through these tabs sequentially from left to right to complete the report. As a reminder, contract haulers are required to submit a quarterly report if they haul 100 or more tons of reportable materials out of state. Contract haulers are also required to report if they haul 50 or more tons of reportable materials to direct land application, whether in state or out of state. Click on the Outflows tab. Before we start entering outflow data, we need to select the methods employed and the outflow streams. Click Edit. Select the methods used to determine tons sent and jurisdiction of origin for hauled materials. Select the applicable outflow streams. For this example, the method used to determine tons sent is rely on receiving facility to provide weight. The method used to determine jurisdiction of origin will be billing and property records. And the outflow streams will be recycling, composting, solid waste for disposal, and end use. Once you are done, click Save. Now you will see additional tables for the outflow streams you chose. Click the Add button above each outflow table to enter information. Our first outflow stream will be Recycling Composting. Click the Add Recycling Composting Outflow button. For this example, the destination will be out of state to Oregon. The material, will be shredded mixed paper, a total of five tons. You can type the name of your material in the material type field and the drop-down list will filter accordingly. Click Save. This is the outflow details page. It summarizes the materials sent to this specific destination for this outflow. You can report sending additional materials to this destination by clicking the Add Material button and following the steps outlined previously. Click the Back button to go to the main Outflows tab. Continue to the next table. Click the Add Solid Waste for Disposal Outflow button. The Destination field automatically begins filtering for out-of-state facilities. You can begin typing a facility name and the field will filter accordingly. If your destination facility does not appear in the drop-down menu, you can check the Facility Not Listed box and enter the facility location and contact information manually. For this example, the destination will be Dry Creek Landfill in Oregon, a total of 115 tons. Click Save. Here we are again at the Outflow Details page that summarizes the saved outflows to this destination. Click the Back button to go to the Main Outflows tab. Continue to the next table. Click the Add End Use button. Multiple categories fall under end use. For this example, the end user category will be land application. The receiving facility will be in state in the county of Humboldt. The material type will be mulch, a total of 55 tons. Click Save. Click the Bath button to go to the main outflows tab. On the main outflow tab, you can add another outflow stream with a different destination to any of these tables by clicking the button Add Recycling Composting Outflow, Add Solid Waste for Disposal Outflow, or Add End Used Outflow. Once you are done adding outflow streams, continue to the Disposal Origins tab. You will need to enter data for this tab if you have a solid waste for disposal outflow. Select a destination to enter origin information. For this example, select Dry Creek Landfill. Click Add Jurisdiction to enter information regarding jurisdiction of origin. 
for this example, the jurisdiction of Wairika generated 95 tons. Click Save after entering the data. The jurisdiction of Mount Shasta generated 20 tons. Click Save. You can edit any of these origins by clicking the Edit button for the origin you wish to edit. Click back to go to the main Disposal Origins tab. If you have another disposal destination, you would select it here to add origins information to that destination. If you have no additional destinations, you could have gone directly to the next tab from the previous screen without clicking back. Once you are done on this screen, continue to the Green Material Origins tab. You will need to enter data for this tab if you chose a green material outflow. The process is the same as the Disposal Origins tab. For this example, we do not have a green material outflow. Continue to the Source Sectors tab. On this tab, you will allocate source sectors to your outflow material. Before we allocate, we need to declare the method used to determine source sector. Click Edit and select the methodology used. For this example, we will assign source sector based on billing records. Click Save. You can enter the source sector allocations as tons or percent. The total for all source sectors must equal 100%. For illustrative purposes, we will enter source sector allocations that do not equal 100%. For this example, we will assign 22% to commercial and 50% to residential and 0% to self-haul. As a contract hauler, the self-haul source sector does not apply. Click Save after entering each sector allocation. Once you are done, continue to the Documents tab. This is the Documents tab. If you are required to submit any substantiating documents, you will do it here by browsing your computer and uploading your document. Continue to the Review and Submit tab. This is the Review and Submit tab. Here you will find a summary of the data you provided in the quarterly report. Notice the table labeled Flags. Once you request the RDRS system to review your quarterly report, any issues with the data you entered will be shown here. We are all ready to have the system review our data. Click Review. A prompt will come up. Click Review on the prompt. The review process is complete. Let's check to see if we have any flags. As expected, a correction required flag was generated indicating that the source sector does not equal 100%. There are three types of flags that may be generated during a review, correction required, verification required, and informational. If a correction required flag is generated, you will not be able to submit your report until the issue is corrected. A verification required flag indicates that some of your inputs look irregular, but could still be correct. You must double check your inputs and either make a correction or verify that it is indeed correct before you can submit your report. You should read the informational flags, but they will not stop you from submitting your report. The flag we received is a correction required flag, so the data must be corrected before the report can be submitted. Click on the highlighted link in the source column to take you to the tab that needs attention. Click on source sectors. Click Edit for the residential line item. Change the percentage to 78% and click Save. Return to the Review and Submit tab and go through the review process again. The issue has been corrected. The flag has been closed and there are no more flags to attend to. You can see that the Submit button has appeared. We can now submit our report. Click Submit. A prompt will ask you to confirm that your data is true and correct to the best of your knowledge. Click the Submit button one more time. This concludes the process of submitting a quarterly report for a contract hauler. You can revise your data by clicking the Revise Report button. Each revision will be logged by the system. Thank you for viewing this instructional video for CalRecycle's Recycling and Disposal Reporting System. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions for how to improve this system or the training materials, please send an email to rdrs at calrecycle.ca.gov.